In this video, we will install code blocks with the compiler, set it up for C programming, and write our first C program. Hi everyone, welcome to Stamophile. I am Imran Shah, and in this video, we will be setting up the complete development environment for C programming. In the previous video, we set up VS Code for C programming. If you are looking for an easier installation, go for code blocks, as it's simpler to install compared to VS Code. Open your browser and type download code blocks in the search bar. Click on the first link, you will also find the link in the description. Click on download the binary release. If you don't see it, click on the download button and you will find it there. Click on the windows button. For other operating systems, click on the respective buttons. Here are the different download links for code blocks. Click on the link named codeblocks.minjwsetup.exe. This will not only download code blocks, but also include minjw compiler, which compiles our code. Unlike the previous video, where we installed VS Code and MinGW separately, this option provides both code blocks and MinGW in a single setup file. There are two separate links for downloading. Click on any of them and the download will start. Once the download is completed, double click on the setup file, click on next, read and accept the agreement, make sure all the checkboxes are selected, then click on next and install. The installation may take a while. Once it's finished, click on yes, next and finish. Some of you may see this pop-up window. This confirms that GCC compiler was installed with code blocks. Just press ok. Code blocks will open automatically. It is asking to set code blocks as default for C, C++ programs. Click yes. I'll choose no since I'll be using VS code. Close the welcome window. Let's create our first project and run a hello world program to check if everything is working fine. Go to file, select new and click on project. Choose console application. Then next. Since we are learning C, select C and click next. Name your project. Let's call it my project. Now select the folder where you want to store it. Click on the three dots. Go to the desktop. Create a new folder named C Tutorials and select that folder. All your programs will be stored there. Click Next and Finish. Go to the C Tutorials folder and you'll find the My Project folder. Each project has its own folder. Inside, you'll find the main.c file, which contains the C code. Its extension is .c. Code blocks automatically created this for us. You can open it in code blocks. Click on projects in the side panel and you'll see my project listed there. If you have multiple projects, then they will all be displayed here. Inside the sources under your project, you'll find the main.c file. Click on it. It already contains the hello world program. Codeblocks has written it for us so that we can test if everything is working fine. This is where we write our code. Since you haven't started learning programming yet, you might not understand this code at the moment. This program will print hello world as output. Don't worry, we'll learn everything at the right time. Let's compile this code. Click on the build icon. The code has been compiled successfully. And now you'll see some new files and folders created. Click on the bin folder. Inside debug, this is our .exe file, which is the hello world program in machine code, generated by the compiler when we clicked on the build option. Now, let's run it. Click on this green icon. The code executed. It printed hello world on the screen. Remember, whenever we change our code, we need to rebuild it because it has to be recompiled. If we don't, the code will run with the old version and give the previous results. There is also a button that combines both build and run in a single click, which first builds the project and then runs it. The shortcut for this is F9 button. In the next video, We'll start coding in C. I'll be using VS Code for that because it's more professional compared to code blocks and supports many other programming languages that I'll be teaching in the future. Please watch the previous video for a better understanding of the three key stages of programming. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Feel free to leave your questions in the comments and share this video if you found it helpful. See you next time and happy coding.